Hey everyone, what's going on? It's been a while since I've done a video. I've been pretty busy in real life lately, so it's been hard to make videos, and my girlfriend's been on vacation also, so I tend to hang out with her more when she's around, and have less time on my hands, free time to make videos. So I will try and keep a better pace in the future. Hopefully it'll be more than one video every two weeks. I'm sure I'll be able to get out one at least a week. So don't worry about that. Just bear with me a little bit. And it'll all come back into place soon. So I'm going to come back with something not too crazy. Nothing too important government-wise or anything like that. Not a real serious matter. But it's just something that bugs me a little. And you guys might actually not even care to hear about this. Because it has to do with football. That's right. My first video back is a video about football. Football, which most of you probably won't want to watch even, but it is what it is. For any of you who actually do care about football, you all know of the player Antonio Brown. He's a wide receiver who was on the Pittsburgh Steelers for about eight or nine years, and for that time, he's been one of the best receivers in the league, and if not, one of the best receivers of all time. So let me break this down for you real quick before I get into the real issue I have with Antonio Brown and why I'm making this video. Antonio Brown, oh, he succeeded on the field, and he was always a quiet player. Wasn't the typical diva receiver you hear of. All that seemed to change last year after he got a big contract of guaranteed money before last season. And last season rolled around, and he was having a lot of problems with his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, and with the team itself, the Pittsburgh Steelers. All of these problems culminated in a final game where he didn't show up to practice, and it was a game where the playoffs were on the line. If they won this game, they could possibly make the playoffs. And so the team sat him for that game since he didn't come to practice. That basically ended his career as a Steeler. He was traded to the Raiders during the offseason for, like, crappy picks, maybe the third and fifth rounder, I think. So they did not get the value of what he was worth as a receiver. But I don't think they cared. I think they just wanted him out of their hair. Fast forward to this preseason, and these problems are persisting now with the Raiders. He made a big big deal out of some stupid helmet. It didn't fit him right. It wasn't the same helmet. He doesn't want to wear it. It's a new helmet the league has made mandatory and they like gave players like a couple of years and let them know by this time it's going to be out so you're going to have to deal with that. And it was a whole spectacle. And then recently he didn't show up to these mandatory practices and he was fined a large amount of money. I forget if it was like 50 grand or 500,000 something like that. It's one of the two. I know there's a big difference between the two, but bear with me, I'm not reading from an article, and I just don't remember the exact amount. Anyway, he was given a letter from the organization explaining his fines, and this is supposed to be in-house stuff. So he, like, put it on Instagram, put the team on blast, basically, and yesterday it was reported that Antonio Brown got into a argument with the general manager of the Raiders, Mike Mayock, and they were most likely going to suspend him him for that and because he made this business public. Now, I don't really care what teams do with their players, suspensions, fines, it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't matter if they suspend Antonio Brown. The only reason it mattered to me was because he's on my fantasy team. And I was like, fuck, this guy's not even going to play one fucking game for my team, huh? But that's not the reason I'm making this video. That's not the real issue here. The real issue is what I heard reported today that no one's talking about. It's a little blurb mentioned about the incident, but that's all I've heard about it. It's just this little blurb out of the whole entire situation. Everything they're talking about on ESPN and all the other sports media networks is what are they going to do with Antonio Brown now? How do they go forward? Is he getting suspended? He's not getting suspended now. So what does that mean? All these things, every little nuanced thing you could think of, except for the one little blurb detail they gave you and then forgot about. What was it? Oh, you see, when Antonio Brown decided to get into an argument with his general manager, he called him a cracker. Cracker ass cracker! That's right, Antonio Brown called his general manager a cracker. Cracker ass cracker! <laughs> cracker ass cracker! I'll put my foot in the cracker ass cracker ass cracker! Now, do I think this means Antonio Brown should be suspended or the NFL should take action? No, I don't care. That's up to them. That's up to the NFL. That's up to the Raiders. I don't give a crap. But what I do give a crap about is the double standard. 
the double standard of the fact that a black sports player can walk up to his general manager and call him a racial slur because why? I don't know. Because he can get away with it. He's black, I guess. There's a Patrice O'Neill clip that I can't find because it's 10 seconds of like a 25-minute clip from a radio show where he says, black people got reparations. They got the right to say whatever the fuck they want to anyone without repercussion. There's a guy, Richie Incognito. He's a dickhead. And he's been in the news because as a player he's a he was a player in the nfl and now he's actually on the raiders again he's back in the nfl and on the raiders with antonio brown well it came out that he called some players in the nfl nigger he didn't get suspended for it or anything but it was like huge news i remember people were talking about it on sports talk radio the whole day having conversations about this what are you going to do with a guy like this how could you let a guy like this exist in the league blah 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 but no one cares if antonio brown calls his general manager a cracker i wish that cracker would have said some shit to me saltine ass motherfucking cracker too mother it's not part of the news cycle at all it's just this little blurb like i said oh and he apparently called him a cracker whoa and that's it they don't talk about it anymore they go on to talk about what they're gonna do with antonio brown now and what that means to the team and how the other players are gonna look at this situation that's all they care about they only care if antonio brown's conduct is gonna make other players act the same as him. That's all that matters. You'll hear the excuse because the word doesn't have the same context behind it as the word nigger, which is bullshit. It's a racial slur. It doesn't matter if it was used by a suppressive class on an oppressed class or not. The meaning behind it is what matters. Words have meanings. The intent matters. What do you think the intent of calling him cracker is? The same as calling someone nigger is. It's used to disparage them racially. And that's it. There's no other reason for it. So it doesn't matter the history of the word or not. The intent is what matters. And I've seen this my whole life. Black people get away with it all the time. I even was talking to my girlfriend about it. And you know what she said? Oh, I guess I don't really care because I just don't see cracker as that much of an insult. Which, in and of itself, is a good thing. You know, it's you not giving the word power. So, it actually is a good thing, but that is the point. The point is, society has been made to feel that this word is worse than that word, and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter about the person's intent. The intent is all that matters to me. And in my mind now, Antonio Brown hates white people, and it's obvious. And this is something that is important to our society, because socially, this is the reason we can't get along. There's these double standards, and people are trying to fight for quote-unquote equality, but they still want the double standards to exist. And you can't have both. Either we're all on a level playing field, or we're not. And if you don't think this stuff is important, just look at it from this point of view. Russia uses this shit against us. They use this stuff to pit us against each other. I know half of you don't believe in Russian bots. I know it's like some non-existent thing to a lot of you people, but it's true. There are plenty of internet accounts linked to Russian IP addresses. Are you really not going to believe our intelligence sources? Either way, they use this against us to pit us against each other, promoting racial supremacist point of views from either side of the spectrum, like Black Lives Matter or white supremacists. So don't think that something like this, this little incident between some football player and his coach, isn't that big of a deal. I think it's something that's keeping us divided as a people and a country and I don't think we're gonna be better until we're all on the same page about racial discussions and things like that as long as this is a competition to see who has been more oppressed racially throughout time or who's more oppressed now and as long as we keep these double standards going then we won't be better off as a country and we'll always be divided. And it sucks because I know growing up there were racial tensions between whites and blacks in New York and as the 90s went on and we got into the 2000s, it was all looking so much nicer and so much more promising. And in a matter of like six or seven years in the internet age, it's all gone down the fucking drain and become worse than it was. And that to me is the biggest shame of all. And on that note, have a good night. Bob
barber shop and heard a bunch of brothers talking about Jews. Black people don't hate Jews. Black people hate white people. <laughs> we don't got time to dice white people up into little groups. I hate everybody. I don't care if you just got here. Hey, I'm Romanian, you Romanian cracker. <laughs> 